Hey everybody, Superfluous J here, playing more Dyson Sphere program, and today we are out here in the horse's navel with a whole bunch of titanium that I just brought back, and I'm going to stuff it into these uh, logistic towers, all the titanium I can get, get them going. Uh, this one I forgot to cap it, so I'm going to, I'm also, oh that's steel, but I'm also going to cap steel, and I'm going to cap this one too so we don't waste a bunch of titanium making titanium alloy that we don't uh, want. The rest of the titanium goes in, I believe, this tower here as a supply, and uh, when it's needed, it will get picked up. Um, I also want to, I just remembered, take some, <laughs> uh, let's take like 500 of them. For our own personal uses, because today we are finally going to start the game, uh, if you will. Uh, let's take this, this, and this, because this is all the stuff we had on us to begin with. Um, first of all, I'm going to I'm gonna smelt some stuff here. I've got this ore on me, and I, it's annoying that, it, that it's on me. I'm going to smelt these. I'm going to smelt these. I'm just saying 10. And every time I, every time I remember, I'm going to come through here and smelt these things that are, that I notice in my inventory. Uh, yeah, all of that. And boom. Okay. And then I've got, I've got enough raw resources now. Um, I, I, I made up a checklist of things I want. I want um, four interstellar towers. <laughs> um, we just learned how to make them, and now I want four of them. I also want uh, seven planetary towers, so that means I need 11 total planetary towers, and for those I need a whole bunch of stuff, including steel and titanium. Uh, the problem with steel is uh, we don't have much of it. <laughs> um, we, we're not making much steel right now. We are, uh, if you look here, we got these two guys making steel, and that's it. And then we've got this box here uh, that's trading steel back and forth for no particularly good reason. So uh, I'm going to make more steel. First of all, we're going to do that, which is going to put steel there. Um, and then secondly, I think I'm going to uh, put these guys here as well. This guy actually is technically still mining, but he's not actually being used. So I'm going to get rid of him. And uh, we're going to, I think this would be the line. Yeah, I'm going to, starting here, put as many smelters as it will allow, and then I'm just going to go up two. Will it let me go up two? No, it will not, nor will it, nor will it connect to there. That's annoying. Well, let's just go up one then, where it lets me come across here and then what can you go there yes you can and then we'll just tuck that right in there it will connect to that uh, we also need a power pole here which is annoying and I'm going to run even more steel uh, let's actually get down on the ground here is this the right way to do it oh, I know it's not the right way to do it but is this is this a spot that I can do it in? <laughs> Uh, we're going to go up one to here, and then connect you right to there. And then that's going to that's gonna stuff a lot more steel into uh, this planetary tower here, or the, this, uh, yeah, planetary logistic tower. Because we're going to need a bunch of steel, and I'm actually going to take all the steel that's in here currently for myself. And uh, then we need uh, processors and those pink... Uh, pink guys and they're actually over here the pink guys are over here let's take like 160 I don't know how many we need total and these processors are over here we're gonna take a bunch of these this is some of the last hand crafting I'm gonna do uh, we apparently they hold 200 at a time so let's uh, let's take 300 and that so there we go that seems reasonable uh, and now let's see how many of these logistic towers we can make now we can make eight and we need ten so let's go let's just make them all and we need more steel <laughs> to make uh, the last two here. So let's go ahead and take this steel. We can make one more and we need even more steel, which is annoying. Let's, uh, let's head over here and uh, see if we can get some more steel out of here. Yeah, I was just taking the steel. I think I need 40 in Toto and we have 40. So I should be able to make one more. There we go. So there's our 10 logistic towers. We've already made one. We're about to make two. Um, I need, uh, actually I need 11 logistic towers, which is funny. Uh, but I need four interstellar towers in Toto. And for that, the only thing I'm missing is titanium alloy. So let's come back over here and pick up, 
let's pick up uh, 183 titanium alloy. And we can make two of our four. So let's go ahead and make one, two. Uh, and we still need this, so we're going to need more steel and more of these pink cubes. We only need 40 total of the pink cubes. So uh, let's see if I can actually get 40. That, that number's fine. And steel. Let's see what we got here. We got 16 total steel. Yeah, I wish I could, I wish I could make steel in my body, but I can't. Uh, yeah, that's all we're missing is the steel. So I'm just taking it as we get it. 31, I need, a, oops, I need 11 more. There we go, 18. I should be able to now make one more of these. Yes, I can. Uh, we're making two of these, I need to make two more. We can make one, and then we need a few more of these pink things. Uh, 24. I don't know how many we need. I should have actually looked. We need 20. Look at that. Boom. There's our four interstellar towers. And then the rest of the logistic stations are going to remain logistic stations. Um, we also now need uh, 40 of these vessels, which um, we haven't made any of yet uh, because we haven't actually needed them. Um, these logistics vessels take these uh, reinforced thrusters, which, which have a, a fairly hefty cost. But that's just the way it works. Um, so I want to make these logistic vessels, and I want 40 of them. And we're gonna ha we're gonna need a lot more titanium, and we're gonna need these reinforced thrusters, which need these things, which which kind of sucks because we're not actually making them anywhere. Um, but let's go ahead and take all the titanium alloy in there. We can make five more. I think that's six total <laughs> of the what 40 I want. Uh, and for more of these, we need, uh, yeah, we need these green things because we have, we have plenty of titanium. So we need these green things and these green things take magnets and, uh, these guys. And if you look over here, actually, we're making these green guys in these, uh, machines and I can pull, I guess, 10 out of each one, which doesn't seem like a bad deal here. Just so I don't have to make them myself. And let's see how many ships I can make now. A single one. Oh, because I need processors. Let's go ahead and get those. Yeah, I, I'm actually, surprisingly, out of processors now. Okay, I don't know how many I've made, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of 12, and I need a lot more. Um, so let's actually move on, and I'll uh, I'll come, I'll, re I'll loop back to these guys now. I'm also going to want 70 drones, which is a crazy, crazy requirement. These guys need the regular thrusters, which just need... Surprise, surprise, steel. Um, yeah, I kind of wish that I had I had uh, ramped up my steel processing earlier on than I have now. But I didn't, so what are you going to do? Um, well, we can make nine more of these guys. Let's just do that. Yeah, we, we again need more steel and thrusters, which I think, yeah, I still have thrusters in this box. So let me go ahead and do that. And I think, uh, I think this thing has... Uh, lived out its usefulness. So I'm just going to take those things with me. See how many more of these I can make. Uh, I just need regular iron, which is a rarity here. Let's take uh, let's take 352 iron. That should that should do us for a little while. 23. That's a good number. I'm just going to make these 10 at a time. And that should be that should be good for now. Uh, and then I'm going to need one hundred <laughs> smelters uh, and I think I have none I have four uh, so let's see what let's see what smelters take to make and I'm not looking at buildings here we go smelters uh, we need ma these magnets which uh, we are making over here so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take these we're not uh, we're not actually researching anything well we are researching but we're, we're researching fairly slow right now so these magnets here we can take all those. Also, uh, I did. I accidentally backed this line up. Um, I was watching the past episode, and, and I, I put regular magnets. I allowed regular magnets on the line that we're putting these magnets. See, the magnets are coming in this way. And then the regular magnets I'm sending out here. So actually, right here, I want to break this line. I never wanted to connect this line, and I did, and it was a mistake. So let's do that. 
and then I'm going to pull these all off the line here. Because I don't think we're making any blue science anymore. There we go. Uh, and I might as well grab these too. Because I guess we're not, it's not that we're not making any blue science, it's that we're not making uh, blue science in those, in, in these guys, because they, they weren't grabbing uh, magnets anymore. Uh, and also, we're apparently having trouble with our circuits because we have no iron because we're, we're making it all into uh, steel. But honestly, right now, that's totally fine. I don't, I don't really care about that. I, I would rather make steel than those things right now. Okay, like I said, we need um, 100 smelters. So here's 36. I'm just going to make those and then, and then move on. And then we need 167 <laughs> solar panels. Which, I don't know how many I have up here, but let's find out. Uh, looks like we probably have 167. We have... Oops, we have... Uh, oh, if I'm not looking in a box, I do this. We have 332. So, I can put... Uh, what is that? 332, 167. I can put about 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in here. And then how many, how many do I have now? I have 232, which makes sense. Uh, 212, 192, 172. We're getting really close. I think, I think I'll just come with 172 because I need, I need some of this stack anyway. So there's our solar panels. Um, also, we have all these green chips that we're no longer using for anything. I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to I'm going to stuff them in What's the best way to do this? There there really isn't a best way. I'm I whatever way I do it is going to be the non-best way. <laughs> but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a box here. I'm going to move this inserter sorter, whatever you want to call them. Actually, I'm not going to put it in at all yet. Um, also, I made too many of these uh, Sorter Mark 3s, so I'm actually going to use one here. And you know what? I'm going to actually... Ah. Let's do that. And then the Sorter Mark 3 we're going to put here. And then this guy is going to have a Mark 1 going to here. And then I'm going to put all these in here so that we uh, we utilize those. Okay. Now I'm going to let you go because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this stuff done and I'm going to fly to our um, inner planet and I'm going to set up all of this stuff. I'm going to I'm going to make it all first and then I'm going to set it all up. So I, I need to I need to basically know what I'm missing and I'm not going to make you watch. The, you you saw me making what I you know a little bit of what I needed of everything. Uh, now I need to actually make the rest. So it's going to be a little bit and I like I said don't want you to have to to watch it. So I will be back. Okay, this took longer than uh, honestly I expected it would, but um, and I'm still actually making stuff in my inventory. However, I have everything either queued up or ready to go, or that like either actually made in my inventory, or I'm got it queued up to craft, or I'll be able to make it later. So let's go ahead and start this thing. Let's uh, let's take off into space. I also made a couple things that. Uh, that I didn't talk about, that I haven't talked about yet, that I really should have because they're really nice things. Uh, but we need to travel 100 and, or so 1.6 AU to get to Alpha Andromeda 1, and we might as well talk about it while we're there. And it looks like uh, looks like research has stalled out, uh, probably because we're out of something, yellow cubes, who knows what. Um, but I don't really care. Uh, I was only doing that because it was all that was left to do. Sorry about that stealth edit, uh, but anyway, um, so what we got going here is, uh, I don't even remember now. Oh yeah, the idea here is to set up Alpha Andromeda 1 as our smelting world. Uh, this is where, uh, going forward, all smelting will be done here. Um, once I set this up, I'm actually going to go back to... Uh, the homeworld and remove uh, all smelting <laughs> from it because we're going to do everything 
uh, via logistic towers. Uh, we're no longer going to be smelting on our home world. Uh, that's the, the beginning of the untangling of the spaghetti is, is what that is. Uh, so I want to come back here. I don't know where anything is. Oh, we're actually fairly close. It's right over here. Um, and we're going to start this whole rigmarole. Um, I actually have some things here as well. I, I left the solar panels here and the logistic towers. Um, but we've got uh, other things that are that are part of this setup is uh, the smelters, the uh, mining machines, which I think now that I say mining machines, I don't think I actually included mining machines in my smelting world because I, I wasn't thinking of it in terms of a mining world, <laughs> which it definitely is going to be uh, until until I, I use up all the mining there. But anyway, we're we're still we're still making a few of these things, but we can set up some stuff now. First of all, we can set up logistic towers, um, and second of all, we can set up the vessels that are going to be in those logistic towers, and then also we're going to be setting up the smelters that are doing the smelting. And uh, we need to set up these, and most importantly, we need to set up the solar power ring around the equator, uh, just like at uh, the other place, <laughs> just like just like home. I think this is our zero line. You can you can tell over here we're south and we're north. Yeah. So this is the equator, and we also this is the 180 line right here. So. Um, the other side of the, the, the planet is going to be, oddly, the zero line. So I'm going to lay a, a solar panel here, and I'm actually going to delete it. I'm going to hit Alt to lay a solar panel, and then I'm going to drag out here. And what I want to do is I want to use the plus key to space these things out. Uh, yeah, I want to, I'm going to put my cursor right there so I know that that's where it is. I'm going to use the plus key. This is part of that mod to space it out so that they're one apart. Because if they're one apart, and I lay them, uh, you can't see it, but... Oh, maybe they're not. Let's see. Uh, let's just do that, and then that. I actually cannot tell if these guys are connected. Let's, uh, let's run a power pole here. Let's place a power pole. Um, I only have... I didn't bring the other power poles with me, like a moron. Let's uh, let's go back up here. I don't even know if I have any power poles with me. I might have used them to make those other power poles. Yeah, I have power poles. Okay, let's head back down. Actually, I don't even know if I need a power pole now that I think about it. I can say this guy is generating 432 kilowatts and that is what is in that network so I think that actually these guys are not connected to each other 432 kilowatts and then if I instead put him here yeah so that actually doesn't work the way I wanted it to that kind of sucks so I need I need twice as many solar panels um, I thought that if you space these guys out so that they were uh, they were exactly spaced out enough to, to put another one in later. Um, they would allow you to put another one in later, but they don't. So sadly, I have half as many solar panels as I want. Uh, oh well. Let's go ahead and do this and go minus minus minus, and we're just gonna we're just gonna lay them out. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, definitely don't want you to have to watch this because <laughs> you saw me do it before. So I will be back when uh, when I'm done laying these things. Okay, so I got the line laid. I've, I've got half of the planet girdled. Um, the good news about that is um, most of the time something will be in sunlight, so so we'll never run out of power. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of kind of sucks that it uh, happens to, to to be that way. Um, also, if you look here, half of this planet has no ores on it, and the other half has all the ores on it. And there's even a big gap down here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually um, set up my smelting. So I'm not near where the other uh, ores are, Be or where the where the ores are, and then I'm going to mine where the ores actually are. So this is actually a really good spot to start setting up the uh, the smelting part of this whole plan. And uh, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I think this is probably a good start. Is um, maybe even come in one. Yeah, definitely can't come in two. Those are getting too close to each other. So I think I think this is a good start. 
Um, and basically, this these these interstellar <laughs> logistic stations, you can put. Uh, I just put vessels in it, and I'm also going to put ten drones in it. Um, we're going to eventually be having fifty drones in these things, but uh, but for now, this is what we got. Um, and you always want to crank the max charging power up. Um, it, it doesn't hurt to to have it down. At least in my experience, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna discuss that too much right now, but um, basically it it determines how fast these things suck power out of the network, and if they suck too much power out of the network, oh well, they'll they'll, they'll eventually get charged up, and it allows your logistic things to charge up faster and and get things going different places faster. Um, so right now these things, just two of these guys, are totally draining our uh, our our entire solar belt thing, but once they get charged up, they're totally fine, and then and then everything everything works fine. Um, I don't, I did not bring belts with me, which is a little annoying. I did bring these power things and I should, I should show you these. Um, what you can do with these is, uh, you click here and then, uh, notice it like there's like electricity as I'm walking around. This thing is recharging me. Um, so not only is it a long distance power pole, like it, it works longer distance than, than the basic power poles. It also, uh, has a little bot recharging thing. So I made four of these so I can place them around me when I need to recharge. Um, so let's go ahead and throw some uh, vessels in here and some bots in here. Uh, let's get the max charging power and the load of drones up there. Yeah, see, they, these guys are actually like dying from no power because uh, uh, really it says it's overloaded. Does that mean it literally isn't charging anything? That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and drop this down then. There's a reason not to do that. I've never seen it be overloaded before. But yeah, these things are these things are charging now, and this is not overloaded. That's hilarious. When the power load gets too high, it actually just stops. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna let these guys run, and I, uh, I'm gonna head back to the my little base here, uh, which is over here. And I need to pick up all my other stuff. Uh, I can do the drones and the smelters. I didn't think about smelters, apparently. Um, but yeah, we need all these belts. And I just will just pick up these boxes. Um, we don't need the silicon right now. And we can, we're going to be picking up these miners and smelters, too, when the, when the time comes. But uh, we, can, we can let that run for now. Oh, so let's head back down here to these towers and uh, basically what I want to do is I, I have the plan for four of these interstellar towers um, and this is just going to be to start and there's a big hole here that I don't really want to uh, I don't really want to interact with but I think we can put the towers this close to each other and we're just going to put them on each uh, on each side here I think this one's going to go here yeah, I think that looks right. And these four towers are going to do all of our smelting for the time being until we uh, until we determine uh, a better way <laughs> to do it. Um, and I'm just going to bridge these guys with some power poles like you do. Put a power pole here and then doesn't really matter. And yeah, we're totally we're totally loading up the, the thing. We're just getting it done basically um, and we're making our logistic vessels here we have 18 which implies that we're still making two yeah so let's go ahead and put 10 of them in here and also put 10 of these guys in here and definitely the max load of drones should be should be maxed out um, I won't I won't deal with the power yet until these guys get charged up but the max load of drones should definitely always be maxed out then we just need to set up a whole bunch of smelting. Um, and uh, what we want to do here is, um, I've, I've decided how I want these things to set up. This guy is going to request iron. Um, and he's never going to, he's never going to stop requesting iron ore. He is also going to export iron, magnets, uh, and steel. And nothing, he's, there, there's an open slot here, which is nice because that means I can request things from... Uh, from the home planet. Um, so what we want to do here is we're just going to set up a very simple three different smelting lines here. Um, we're going to, or actually more than three, because we're going to do um, we're going to do two things of iron, two thing or one thing of uh, 
magnets, or two things of magnets, and also two things of steel. I think that's the way we're going to do it. So uh, what we want to do here is just have these things come out. They come out of the station like this, and I didn't, I forgot to set the, uh, I forgot to set the filter, but we're going to have iron coming out. And let's see, his purview goes, I guess, to here, and then this guy's goes to here, and then we'll have a, we'll have a gap in between. I think that's fair. So we're going to have the iron coming out. Iron ore, I should say, coming out. And with these, with these tier one belts, which we're not going to use forever, uh, we can uh, start, let's start like here, I guess. We can smelt this into iron and then send it back in there. So we can say this guy is going to make us iron. And he's going to have that going in, that going out, and then boom. Oops. We're going to need the belts going the whole way. And I'm just going to, I'm going to lay these belts longer than they need to be for now. Just because it's easier to place these things. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do two of these, and then we're going to put a gap for a power pole, and then we're going to do four. And that takes care of, that takes care of one of these irons. Then the other one is going to come out, and it's going to be iron again, and it's going to come out right next to his buddy. And then we're going to have a line going back. Uh, is it really like that? Let's, let's actually look and see. If it, if it is true, yeah, that's too much. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to make an executive decision here. And then we're going to move everything one. Because that will make these things look a lot nicer. <laughs> and we all know that's the most important part, is that everything looks nice. So let's go ahead and start him here, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, then one, two, three. Looks like that's where I started before. I lost a sorter. If I could click on it, there we go. Oh, I just got a crash. Ooh, cool. That's a new, that's a, that's a mod crash. Um, yeah, it, it disables save games. Okay, I've restarted the game and I'm loading up an autosave and we are, uh, where are we? We are where we were when we started. So we actually haven't lost anything, which is, which is nice. All we need to do is run this guy this way. We can just delete this. Run this guy uh, this way. I don't even know what happened. We just confused a mod, basically. You'll have it. Um, okay, so we need a smelter. Which I'll just put this guy here for the time being. We need an in and out. We need to say that it's for iron. And then we go one, take a space, and then four. And that'll take care of that. Then we're going to have iron ore coming out. To here. Iron plates coming back to here. We're already saying that that's iron ore, which is good. Let our drones do some laying of stuff. And then we go one, two, three. One, two, three, and four. So there's there's all the iron I want to lay in the entire <laughs> the entire time that we're here. This is this is going to be our entire iron smelting, which which does look like a lot, and it's not, and it it's going to be superseded by a lot more in the future. But uh, just make note for now, this is more iron smelting than we're doing at the base, <laughs> the, at the main base. That's kept us going this whole time. This is more iron smelting than that. So uh, that's that. Okay, so next we need, um, we need magnets, and we want 18 uh, things of magnets. Because magnets, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. Uh, we're going to have more iron ore coming out of here. These need to go a little bit farther than their iron counterparts. But they do want to come back on this line. I'm going to copy one of these. 
and then I'm going to change it from iron to magnets. And then if you look here, magnets uh, turn um, iron into a magnet every 1.5 seconds. That means we can support 50% more. 50% more of six is nine. So that's why we're going to have nine of these. Four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's how we're going to do that. And then we're going to do one more just to just to get the, the same amount. So we're going to have uh, the ore coming out. The magnets going back. And uh, go one, two. Let this drag out as soon as they uh, bother laying the belts for me here. And then we'll need three. It looks like we're at the point now where we're <laughs> where we're overtaxing our system, probably because it's night and like the, the solar panels that we've laid at the equator are in the exact horrible, you know, worst spot they could possibly be. Um, this is going to cover it, so we're going to extend this up this way. And this is going to cover this, so we're going to extend it up this way. And we're going to need one more power pole here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to place it here for now. Um, we're going to have to redo all this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Might as well save these belts. Uh, and then the last thing, though, that we need is steel and steel. We are going to make the same number of smelters that we made for iron. Um, and I kind of planned badly now that I'm looking at this. But I'll live with it because this is this is uh, as everything in this game. <laughs> this is temporary. Uh, we're gonna have an iron belt coming out, and it's actually gonna go here. So I actually they place these power poles in a bad spot. I want them here. So that we can lay this belt. And this belt's gonna go the same distance that it needs to go for iron because uh, steel's the same the same as iron as far as inputs and outputs, or as far as inputs are concerned. But we're gonna have, uh, what we're gonna do for this, this is gonna be a little bit special. We're gonna have an iron here, and then it's gonna feed directly into, uh, let me actually put a smelter down manually here, because I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can direct feed. No, this is too close, so. We need a smelter one away like that and a sorter going into it to make if I can uh, get out of building mode and say this is going to be steel and then he's going to go on an outline and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Is that right? That seems too far, but that's what it says. Uh, let's go into, see, for this one, do we want blueprints? Although I can just do this. Yeah, that's right. Except for the, the this being in the way, which I should have thought about. We'll put it there so that when we copy him now, he's going to be like that. And then that'll take care of those guys. Now, this one I'm going to want to do with a... Uh, with a little bit of a blueprint, I think, because it's, otherwise it's going to be a pain to do. Uh, but I can send these back around the back into the back and then have one more line of whoops, one more line of ore coming out there. Okay, so let's do our let's do our blueprint. Actually, I just realized we can't do the blueprint because the belts are going to be in it. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm gonna do it slightly differently. So we're gonna blueprint. We are going to F1. I'm just going to blueprint these two guys. And then I'm gonna right click, and then it copies the the inserters and everything, which is nice. So I'm gonna go one, and will this work? No, it will not. We can't go into multi build mode here which would be cool if we could, but I didn't really expect it. So then we can just go one, two, three, four, five. And there's all of our, uh, there's all of our steel. And let's see, we need probably here. I think this will cover everything. 
but I don't know that for a fact. And we are out of power poles. Can I make more? I'm sort of out here in the middle of nowhere, but I can make three more, so that's three more, two more than I really need. Because if we do this, nobody is actually going to have a unpowered at all icon, which is what I really care about now. Um, how are we doing here? These things are still charging, which is which is the problem. Um, they're, they're taking forever to charge. Uh, let's put 10 of these into here, and let's put uh, 10 of these into here. If I can ever do that, there we go. And uh, now, as soon as we can get some uh, some iron ore, we've got all the smelting going on. And what's nice is if we do remote oh well, remote demand and local demand for iron, and then supply for all of the rest of this stuff. Um, however, we're not going to ever need this locally supplied. So just, I like to switch it to storage. This means basically don't do anything locally. Don't take from anybody, don't give to anybody, just hold on to them. However, anybody wants this stuff, go ahead and send it to them is, is what this says to do. Um, these these are almost charged, which is nice. As soon as these ones get charged, uh, there's going to be a lot more power available to the rest of everything. Uh, so that'll be nice. But there's our there's our iron smelting. Um, and let's see. Oh, I speaking of being out of power, I'm out of power. Let's go ahead and uh, take some of this precious precious power from our network here. So you can just place these down, and I can stand in the middle of them, and it won't recharge me um, at the uh, <laughs> at the uh, uh, detriment of the stations that are trying to charge up uh, instead. But I'm more important than they are. And then all I need to do now, though, is find, uh, if I go into map mode, find a iron mine around here. And there's there is at least one. Here it is. Here's one. Looks like there's probably three because this one is half a million and, and there's one and a half million total. But what I want to do, yeah, here's another one, and here's another one. What I want to do is I want to tap those iron mines with a regular logistic station. So let's go ahead and, now that we have enough power, we're going to do that. We're going to tap this, this iron mine that's down here. There it is. With a regular logistic station. And the nice thing is this iron mine is on a little hill, so the act of doing this is going to give us a whole bunch of soil. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, and we want to we want to get as many of these as possible. Uh, it looks like as many as possible. There's six. That's pretty good. And it looks like that's going to be the same six, which is totally fine. Uh, and then this guy looks pretty good. And this guy here. Nope, I can't get those and not be red. So I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that it's red and then can I tuck him in anyway no I, he's basically gonna be doing something like that and then I want a logistic station and this is gonna be one of the small logistic stations um, and I can just put it right here that should be fine and then we need uh, tell you what I wonder if I can do one power pole for all of these guys probably not I would need to put it in the middle here I think well this actually looks like it might do it and it did that's pretty cool um, and then one more here Actually, I wonder if these long distance poles now they they don't go close enough to the logistic stations. The logistic station won't have won't be powered from him, which kind of sucks. Um, but uh, where's my other power pole? There it is. Uh, what we can do here is we can place this power pole here and then do this to here for now. Because we're we're actually at the point now where where we we don't have we don't <laughs> we we're out of power poles and we don't actually have any uh, resources to do it. So the minimum loaded drones is going to be maximum. Uh, I'll leave the max charging power the way it is, and I want uh, ten drones in this guy, and he is going to supply iron ore. So now all I need to do is get these iron ores at roughly two per belt because we're using the we're using the the starter belts here still but two of these per belt into this station oh all right to there and then these two over here are going to go on this belt There we go, and get around here, right into there, and you're going to go in there as well. 
let my drones place all these belts, and then we are uh, going to start supplying this planetary logistic network with um, ore as soon as these things get laid down. And there we go. And as soon as this gets up to whatever it is, 25, um, these drones are taking off and sending the ore across here. And look, more drones are coming from this station to pick up more of the ore as well. And sadly, this is happening right as night is falling and we're probably, uh, we have 100% satisfaction. So these towers finally got charged up and everything, which is nice. Um, but the ore is going to come into here. God, these drones are so slow. I'm not used to them being this slow. They, they speed up a lot, and they also get better inventory capacity uh, as time goes on. But the ore is going to come out. It's going to go into these uh, into these smelters, and it's going to come back, and we're going to start supplying iron, magnets, and steel to the logistic network. And what this means is, because this is the interplanetary logistic network, this means back home I can place one of these stations and request those, and they'll come from here on the big ships, uh, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's 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 fantastic actually. Um, looks like I have eleven in the, this station, which is why I think I have a weird number. I have nineteen here, yeah. So I need to be able to take one of these guys out, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I'm just kind of right-clicking here to see if I can take this guy out. But it looks like no. It's going to... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the request for a second. So I can take these guys and then put one of them back. And then crank the request back up. So that they go. Because I, I only want ten in each station. But that's it. That's, that's how you set up mining. Uh, or how you set up mining and smelting on a world. Um, obviously this is wider than, than this station kind of allows, but that's okay because we're, we're spreading out here. The rest of these stations I'm probably going to go forward and back. I probably should have sent this steel off back that way, but uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, this is all starter stuff anyway, and it doesn't really matter, and and it's, it's hilarious how little we've got going here. I think I'm actually going to put, even though I spent all that time putting, <laughs> putting less in there, I'm going to put 10 of these guys into here. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put 10 uh, more in this one. And then we're going to actually, I can do it from here. I'm going to put the, the last 10 in here and then I'm out of these guys. So I, I obviously want more of these guys than I thought I did. Um, and they're going to uh, basically ferry this iron ore back and forth to uh, this guy who's going to slowly build up his, his cache of everything. He's getting uh, steel, he's getting magnets, he's getting iron. Um, but we don't even have enough right now to, to supply all these lines. Obviously, these lines are maybe a third full, and uh, then they get less as time goes on. But it's just, that's the way it works for now. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, next time, we're going to do the rest of the, these stations and um, get everything going with, with copper and everything, and then go back to the homeworld and start requesting those and start tearing down everything that, uh, <laughs> that we had built up uh, before. And also, we're going to bring um, another whole stack of solar panels to, uh, to, to, to wrap the, the center of the, <laughs> of the Tootsie Roll here in uh, solar panels so we can get uh, these going again. But I, uh, if you did enjoy watching this, though, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I'm Superfluous J, though, and I will, as always, talk at you later.